Okay, I want to talk about responsive websites and JavaScript that relates to responsive websites. In our CSS, it's very easy to build media queries. We just go into the CSS file and we say, okay, at media, and here's the query itself. So if the maximum width of my page is 600 pixels or less, this is the style I want to apply. If the size of the page is 601 pixels or wider, this is the style. So here's the large purple, but if I take this browser and I shrink it down a little bit, there we go. There's the smaller green text as defined right here. All right, CSS, media queries, simple enough. But what if you wanted to have JavaScript that only ran under certain conditions? Well, we can do that. If we come down here, uh, I have a script set up, so I'm going to make this a little bit wider to make it easier to read. I have a script set up so that when the page loads, I'm going to call this a function called init. And inside of here, I'm going to use the window match media method to determine whether or not I match one of these queries. So let's start off by saying I'm going to create a variable called query, and that's going to be equal to window match media. Now this method takes one parameter. It is a string and it is one of these. Just something like this. Whatever you would write in the CSS, that is the query that we're trying to match. So if I do this, like that, this variable is going to hold the result of this match media. Then I can write an if statement where I go query dot matches. This is the one property that we're going to use. And up inside here, if the page is wider than 600 pixels, if the page is narrower than 601 pixels, and that's it. That's all we need to do. Now inside of here, I can write any JavaScript that I want. I can call functions. Um, just as a demonstration, what I'll do is if the page is wider than 600 pixels, I'll make this thing turn red. And if it's narrower, I will make it disappear. So we'll start with the wider document query selector. Find my h1 element. Style.color equals red. There we go. Refresh my page. Nothing happens. I make it bigger. I load the page and it's red. So it has matched. If I go back down to where it's green and I hit refresh, it's back to black. It doesn't get the red. Now for the smaller one, document query selector h1, find the h1 element again, style.display equals none. So I'm going to hide that element. Again, we'll start with the bigger, load the page, it turns it red, it matched the query, so we're setting it red. If we make it smaller, there we are, and I hit refresh, it's hidden. So the H1 disappears, and that's all there is to it. We're just using the match media method to match the same thing we would have written inside the CSS. Now you can write JavaScript that is custom and runs whenever the CSS media queries would run. And this can be any one of the queries that you would write in the CSS. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.